We are cutting off our sense of responsibility for lives around us. And so this notion of the development of the human community has got someday to supersede the, the development of the war machine. I see us putting money with great pride into uh, renovating our nuclear weapons. Good. Implying that someday, just by renovating them, implying that we are prepared to use them. I, I mean, what kind of community does that speak to the rest of the world? What, what, where, uh, how are we one step closer to, to, to saying to the world, you know, remember those kids who sang that song, We Are the World, We Are the Human. And I, I, I heard them sing and I said, and someday in their lives may it finally come. What kind of people do we think we've been? What kind of people are we? And what kind of a, of a people do we want to be? We're going to have to stand up and say it pretty soon because it's going to be gone before we know that it was here. Each of us is born with half a magnet inside of us. And that's where I think the United States and its, its future development and the development of its children as well as its adults is in trouble. I believe that each of us come, you can explain this any way you want to, genetically, spiritually, educationally, uh, environmentally, uh, as part uh, uh, of, uh, of our family history. I don't care what it is. But there is something in each of us that is pulling us onward. Now, you can't work with half a magnet. So there's something in here trying to get out, trying to get out under all circumstances, and then suddenly one day, slam. You meet the other half of the magnet and you're home. Why is that a problem then? Why would I start out with the notion that it's a problem? Because this culture teaches you to ignore the internal magnet at every level. This, this culture teaches our kids, uh, I, how, many, how many times have I had a young person say, I say, what, do you, what in God's name are you doing in math? You, here's, your, here's your report card. You were at best a C plus student. You never mentioned that you wanted to be in math. You always told me you were going to be a history teacher. You, you, were, you wanted to go around the world. Yes, sister. But my dad said, you can't make any money being a third grade teacher. If you think I put all this money in your education and you're going to come out in elementary ed, then son, you pay for the rest of it yourself. What, do, what, are we, what did we just educate? An unhappy kid is what we're unleashing onto the world, a half-finished mind, a half-developed soul, a, a, a half-known personality, unknown even to this person themselves. This little magnet in me, if we only have half of that magnet, but that magnet, it's due north, it's, it's the rest of its compass, is, it's absolutely essential to the spiritual and psychological well-being of a person that we listen to the magnet, that we search for the other half of it, and that we not permit anything out here to give us a lesser value in life by which to direct our spiritual selves. If I myself am ever to be whole, wholeness is a huge thing for me, huge. Do, do all your parts go together? That's the question. Is your mind and your soul and your work and your social life, are they all of a piece? Or are you playing cards with the mafia at, uh, over here and delivering soup uh, to, to the elderly over here? It doesn't go together. It doesn't fit. There's something unwhole about the way you're trying to move through life.
but eventually you've got to get back to, in the beginning was the Word, that's what you listen to. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And this, is, this Word is creation, it's goodness, and it's purpose. And if that's what you're listening for, all, all you have to ask yourself, who is being advantaged by this? For what reason? Who is being left out? And what is my responsibility to it? That's what I listen for in every so-called uh, piece of legislation or, or, or act. Now, I'll tell you very honestly, in the new book, Radical Spirit, I think I'm clear. It is humility that the, that the country is missing and that individually we have learned to fear. In the United States, humility is not an American thing. And we really believe that humility and humiliations are synonyms. They are not. In the beginning was the Word. What's the Word? The Word was creation, you, your life, this, the universe. I, I am, I am thought. I am spirit. I am energy. And out of thought and spirit and energy comes the Word. What else do you need? It's that listening for the word. There's a word. The tree is a word to you. Those trees that tell us around this globe, don't, as Jesus did to the weeping women of Jerusalem, don't cry for me. You know, if, you keep th if these things keep up the way you're doing them, it's you and your children who will suffer. That's the word. That's the word from the water and the word from the air. It's the word from the babies that, that this government is, is separating from its families but can't find today. The word is, that the, the natural word is, those children belong with parents. And the parents have a right to a dignified and decent life. And anybody who is an obstacle and anything that is an obstacle to that is outside the word and the will of God. It has to be. It is a totally unnatural, demeaning, depressing, diminishing, and some, uh, some it's, it's a barbaric word. So it cannot be the one word for the whole universe. We, yeah, we sent a lot of stuff to um, Louisiana and to Texas as we should have. But what did Puerto Rico get? Those people are ours. What did they get except, uh, except scolded? I mean, we're, we're compartmentalizing. We're, we're stratifying. Uh, we're, we're, our American welcome to the rest of the world now depends on, uh, on color and, and uh, education. Come on, come on, and be careful of all these other words because they are obscuring the word. People are, people are assuming that their word is the word. Their word, the money, is the word. Sex is the word. Corruption is the word. Uh, war is the word. Power is the word. Authority is the word. No. In the beginning was the word creation. And the Word was with God, God's Word. Creation was God's Word. And the Word was God. What you do here, you do what you do to me. Uh, I, I think what you're doing, I don't know, I don't know how many people will, um, will see this. And um, I have, uh, I can only tell you this, if I say much more about what I think about what's going on in the country today, they will leave it, and I, I apologize. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I, feel, I feel very strongly that what you're doing will enable a lot of people to sit in a group and ask the same questions and see what they get. But most of all, listen to someone else's answers and get stretched like taffy another inch or foot in their own life. The prophetic spirit requires that we advance that word in any way we can. And so I think we're losing that. I think we're turning Christianity into marshmallow. 
and that somehow or other, that's the, we're not standing up, we're not standing up and saying we, we will not have this with these children. Uh, we, we will not allow uh, uh, this, this tension between one whole part of us and, and those all of whom are, are required to support and save all of us. We are not taking prophetic spirituality seriously and it's gonna to lead to the downfall of this country if we don't do it pretty soon. You don't, you don't have to come with me. I'm not gonna push you out of the way, but you must let me through because I'm coming. I'm coming.